Welcome to Help With Video, I'm Ken Okel. I always thought it would be a good idea to open up a video studio right next door to a diet center. Because let's face it, when most of us see ourselves on camera, we go, oh my God, I need to lose some weight. Now seriously, a lot of us do feel uncomfortable with how we look and sound on video. That's normal, it's natural to feel a little uncomfortable with your appearance on camera, how you look, how you sound, it's normal. I'm not gonna give you some sort of tough love approach saying you better do it or you shouldn't have gained all that weight. We're all human. All of us have good features and bad features, even your movie stars are shot a certain way to make them look their best. When it comes to video, the camera can be pretty harsh on your appearance. When I look at myself, I sometimes say, okay, activate diet. Hey, that's a good healthy thing to do. Another thing though I can think about is, what am I eating? For instance, if I'm eating a lot of salty foods, I don't have a lot of salt normally, so my face is gonna get a little puffy. Now maybe I'm the only one who notices this, but it kind of matters to me. So I'm gonna know, if I'm recording some videos, make sure you're cutting down on the salt. So maybe you do say, activate diet before you go on to video. That's a good thing. Maybe you decide to work with a voice coach if you're uncomfortable with how your voice sounds. If you find yourself falling into certain patterns that you don't like or you'd like to learn how to deepen your voice, find a coach, find someone who can help you, much like you would a trainer at the gym. Sometimes though, we use our appearance and our sound as a reason not to do things. And that's horrible because if you've got great information to share, we need to make sure you're getting it out to the world. Let's face it, I feel like, hey, I gotta lose some weight. But am I gonna lose 25 pounds overnight? No, that's not gonna happen. It's probably gonna be a couple here, a couple there. If I do it in a healthy way, it's gonna take a lot of time. Do I wanna wait that long before I do a video? The answer is no. So in other words, I can try to play with fashion, with certain lighting conditions, the angle of the camera, to see if I can improve my appearance. This is one of the things where you experiment around especially like your clothing, where you know, hey, I look good in that outfit. Well, you would wear that outfit. If you feel like something makes you look fat or unattractive, you wouldn't wear that. So you wanna do some practice with the camera. Also practice with your delivery. See if maybe your voice is going a little high because you're nervous. So if you just kinda of chill out, relax, do a few takes, do an extra take, your voice may come down a little bit. So I try to tell people, find the things that you can change Find the things that you need help changing, and then find the things that you can live with. Odds are, you're your biggest critic when it comes to yourself. A lot of people aren't gonna notice all the flaws that you see. We're all programmed like that. Don't let your sound or your appearance hold you back. You gotta be able to evaluate your talents and strengths, but if you're holding back and not sharing anything with the world, you're letting video defeat you before you even hit the record button. So I hope these thoughts helped you as you continue to become more comfortable on camera and realize that you just gotta jump in sometimes. Years later, I look back at some of my older videos and I'm like, oh man, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong. But then I look to see a lot of people have watched this video, a lot of people have gotten good information out of this video, and you know, no one sent me an email saying, dude, you're fat. And maybe they thought that, but at the same time, it was important that I got the information out there. So we've shared a lot of ideas. I hope these are of use to you. If you want some other content, go to helpwithvideo.com. We've got a whole library of video clips like these. One comes out every week. Also on the equipment page, if you're getting started, you can see an overview of pieces of equipment that I've used or that I might recommend. It's a good place to get started if you're needing to do a little bit of shopping. Finally, there's a link on the site where you can record a question for me that we'll talk about in a future episode. So I encourage you to jump in, check out the resources, ask a question, because that helps me know what answers you wanna hear in the future, much like we did today. I'm Ken Oakle, take care.